Hey there everybody, this is Devin Olson from developer to developer Today we're going to talk about Magento and Magento categories. I'm going to show you how you can build a custom listing of your categories as well as a sub-listing of subcategories. So let's begin. We're going to start with our new custom blocks code. We're going to open some PHP tags here. And the first thing we want to do is create a new variable, and we'll call this variable cats, which stands for categories, plural. And what we're going to do is we're going to point this new variable to our most absolute root category, or the one that we're going to use to reference and gather its children categories. Now in most Magento stores, the default category or root level category has an ID of 2, so we're going to be using that. So we'll say cats is equal to mage get model and we'll say catalog category and we're going to load up a category. Okay? And the, now we're going to use the root categories ID here. We're going to load category 2 and we're going to gather category 2 children. Now the get children actually gathers the category 2's uh, first level children categories. So now we're going to come down and we're going to say new variable cat IDs is equal to explode. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to grab our cats variable and we're going to explode each child category so that we can loop them out. So we're going to say explode by comma and explode the variable cats. Now, because we're going to be doing a listing, we're going to add some default HTML here, which is uh, an ordered list. All right, so now let's uh, build the for each loop. So let's say PHP for each. And we'll close it off. PHP end for each. So now we're going to set up a condition, which is for every instance of a child category in the variable of cat IDs, reference it as cat ID, singular, because we're at a singular level now. So in here, we can go ahead and begin our HTML list items. We're going to say PHP. And now that we have reached this singular level, uh, we need to load up this particular category so we can use its attributes to echo out its name or what other uh, attributes you filled out. So we can say category, new variable, is equal to mage, get model, again, catalog, category, and we're going to load cat ID and then close it off. Alright, so again, we've reached the sink of the level after exploding each one of our children categories and now we're going to be loading up this single category that's in this for each loop so that we can obtain its attributes. Um, so now that we've loaded it up, we'll say echo category get name and alright, so now let's uh, create our subcategory. So we're going to create a new variable and we're going to call this sub plural equals mage get model catalog category and again we'll load category so now again we're at the singular level so we want to grab this single categories subcategories so what we'll do is we'll point to our singular category and we'll say get ID and we're going to load this category up in a fashion that we can gather its children categories. Okay? Close it off. Now we're going to create another variable. We'll call this sub cat IDs is equal to explode. And we'll explode it by a comma. And we're going to explode the variable sub cats. I think you're seeing a pattern here. So now we're going to come down here, we're going to create another for each, PHP for each, we'll close it off, and we're going to say for each uh, sub cat cats IDs as sub cat, alright, we'll 
we'll close off the four each. And four each. Outside of our four eaches, we also need to start a new unordered list. Okay. Uh, in between our four each, we can now load up each one of our subcategories to gather its attributes and echo out its name. So we'll say sub category new variable is equal to mage get model catalog category and we'll load the subcat instance. Okay, echo out sub category get name. Whoops, uh, and we have a typo under our category variable. Um, go to the end here. We meant to say load cat ID. Okay, so with that fixed, uh, let's go directly within our for each and set up our list items. And the way this the code set up right now is it's going to search for any subcategories, and whether or not it finds some, uh, it's going to echo out a set of uh, unordered list tags. We want to prevent that, and we can do that by creating a PHP if condition. This, we'll close it off. And in our condition, what we're going to do is we're going to say, um, go ahead and count the number of sub cat IDs, and if the number is greater than one, then yes, go ahead and proceed and echo out a listing. If it's not, then ignore it and continue on. All right, so with this code complete, the question uh, now is, where does this code go? Because it's a category navigation, we'd want to house it in a location where we could naturally extend any category navigation functionality down the road. So a good place would be under the catalog uh, navigation. And you can see I've created a new PHTML file called category because it is a category navigation. So you can go ahead and create a new file yourself and place that code in there. Uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to introduce this new catalog navigation category.phtml file and code into our block buildup through the Magento XML files. We would do that by going into the layout portion of our theme and go down to the catalog.xml file. All right, now that we're in the catalog.xml file, uh, we need to find the default layout section of this catalog.xml file. First section right here, you can see the code comment says default layout loads most of the pages. Uh, what they're trying to say here is that the blocks in this section is for more of a global portion of this file, so that all the blocks in here get loaded on most of all pages. So what we're gonna do now is go down to the correct column, reference left column, and we're going to create a new block. So block, and we'll close it off. Now the type of this block matters. Again, we talked about how we're going to extend catalog navigation so that we can use uh, Magento default navigation functionality down the road. So it's important that we extend it here as well. So we're going to say catalog uh, navigation, extending the navigation functionality. Uh, we're going to come up with a name for this. I like to stick with the file structure for the naming, so catalog.category, and now we're going to say the template file is located in catalog navigation category.phtml. Okay, and if we hit save the file, that should be it. Looking at our results now, you can see that we've accomplished our mission. Um, if we look at the source, you can see that list items that don't have subcategories do not list a unordered list. Those that do, do list a second unordered list. So with some CSS and some uh, jQuery, you can obviously uh, make this function the way that you want and look the way you want. Uh, but code-wise, um, that's it. Thank you very much.